Hi, what's up, YouTube? My name is Mayo. I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five tips on how to take a better portrait shoot using natural light. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. If you are new here and you want to learn with me how to make a better images with less expensive gear, or you are a photographer that wants to improve your photography, especially if you are a photographer with just a camera, a lens, or probably one or two lights, I start now by subscribing because it's the right channel for you. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you will not miss anything. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get into it. So number one on my list now is understanding your lighting. Natural light photography is not as easy as you think because if you don't have much knowledge on lighting, it's not going to turn out the way you want. We are here shooting natural light. We are making use of the sun as our light source. I'm going to show you guys uh, a proper way of uh, positioning your subject when shooting natural light, especially when it is sunny, like when the sun is bright. Placing the sun behind your subject can make your um, image turn out so wonderful to come out so amazing. Let me show you um, what it looks like when you uh, put the sun behind your uh, subject. So for the sake of this video, I also place my subjects to face the sun directly to actually see what my outcome will be. So right here, uh, my, my subject is actually facing the sun directly. So let's, let me show you what uh, the outcome was. You get this ugly shadow around your image and it makes your image not to turn out really fine. Uh, to me, it's unprofessional. Comparing the two together. The one back in the sun has a soft light illuminating uh, the face of my model while the uh, one facing the sun uh, has this ugly shadow and to me it's, it's not a very good image at all. Knowing when to shoot, uh, knowing the um, proper way of positioning your model when shooting they are going to take your photograph to the next level. Inflector. Using Inflector can do your photography a huge favor. I won't be going deep on this because I have a video I did about reflector sometimes ago. So I will leave the link in the description below so that you guys can check it out. This is a very interesting one. Comparing the both together, the one with the reflector really looks amazing, looks beautiful, looks better than the one uh, without reflector. There's a there's a very huge difference, right? So let me know what you guys think about that. And don't forget to check out um, my video on reflector. The link is right in my description below. Yeah, shooting at a very um, wide aperture can actually take your photograph to the next level. So because you shoot as a at a wide aperture, you are likely to get this amazing bouquet in your background. So what that does is it brings attention to your model, it complements your model and it gets rid of distractions. Yeah, the one with the lower aperture, I can still see uh, those cars behind, those trees behind, I can still see them so clearly. So it's bringing a lot of distractions to uh, my subject. Yeah, the image uh, with wide uh, aperture uh, is much very better than the one uh, with um, the very less um, wide aperture. But checking the one with a wide aperture, it looks very much better. Uh, the distractions has gone. Um, my main focusing now is on my mood. Shooting at a very wide aperture will make your portrait better and amazing. And please, if you think there's something I didn't talk about in this video or there's something we need to know, don't forget to uh, drop your comment in the comment section. I'm still very much learning, so um, don't forget, feel free to drop your um, 
question your opinion in the comment section so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of this so thanks for dropping by until next time remember to stay motivated stay inspired and never stop creating peace